Hey everybody, Russell Aaron here, and today I'm going to show you how to use my free WordPress plugin called Query All the Post Types, which is a WordPress post type scanner plugin. Um, so when you are building themes or plugins or when you're trying to query your database for specific information, um, there's a thing that's called post type and you're supposed to put a name in there. And sometimes a post type, even though the name of it is called events, the post type itself could actually be called, you know, XYZ underscore events or tribe events. Um, so what my plugin does is once you install it, what it does is, is it shows you that um, even though we know it as media, right, so you have media over here, um, the post type itself is called attachment. So if I wanted to, you know, use this in some code, um, I have some code here that says, hey, um, you know, in every pre-get posts, that is the home page main query, add all these post types to it. So I could essentially say add attachment here. You know, and one of the biggest mistakes that beginning developers will do is they think it's called media, so they'll call something media and then their code breaks because it's actually not looking for media. You're supposed to be looking for attachment. Um, so that's what my plugin does. My plugin will tell you um, it's called attachment. Um, but we know it as media. The singular name is called media. Um, the menu name is called media. This is public queryable, so you actually can use this in queries and hooks, filters, stuff like that. Um, and there's no taxonomies associated with this. Um, but see, I have this other thing here where even though in the menu it's called band names, the post type itself is actually called band hyphen name. So again, it's another one of those things where if you wanted to use this, um, even though I have it in here, oh, I don't have band name. So I would actually, let's add another thing here and call it band name, right? Instead of saying, well, I think it's called band names, that would actually break your code, right? So what you want to do is you want to get the actual name of the post type itself. Um, so a couple things about my plugin is, number one, um, there's a link here that will actually take you to the WordPress codex um, and it explains what all these things are. You know, here's all the default post types that come in WordPress by itself. Um, here's how you register things. And then this is what, you know, the singular name means. You can see what the plural name means. You can see, you know, is uh, public queryable. You can find out all that kind of information over here. Um, and it also tells you the number of post types that you currently have actively installed. So I have 14 as of right now. Um, and you can kind of see that as we start going through, um, I've hidden things like this is a hidden custom post type. Even though this post type exists, you won't actually find EDD log anywhere over here unless you start getting into like very specific things. So my post type plugin essentially showing you even though you can't see this thing called EDD payment it still exists right it's a top level view of all of your custom post types that you have installed um, so head on over to wordpress.org slash plugins slash query all the post types and install it on your WordPress site today and I'm sure you'll be either shocked or surprised to see all the post types you have currently activated Thank you and have a great day.